minutes late. Well, we're not late, just three minutes after when we thought we would be. Aye. McClure's no, never ever I'm, late, do you know what I mean? Absolutely, it's yes. just us that's late joining you. Yes, that's right, you were late joining me, I was, I was here doing my stuff. Absolutely. Now, Scotty, I, you, I you just couldn't God. hear me. What was that, my dear man? I want you to talk about God. God, yes, absolutely. Aye. Somebody was asking me about God today, so fire away. Now, he's uh, forever in the court, I believe. What's he in I the court with? Always... Well, everybody, uh, I, I promised to swear by the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help me God. Yes, I swear by Almighty God that I will tell oh, the truth, the whole truth, truth, and nothing but the truth, so help me God. So he must be a very busy man in the court, so it, he's helping He's a very busy you. man in the court because he's trying to get the truth out of the ten of ways. There's another thing about Scotty, about God. In the courts. Yes, tell us what. I've, I've, I've heard of people losing evidence claims because of acts of God. An act of God. Have you never seen the Billy Connolly movie, The Man Who Sued God? Uh, how, how far did he get? Well, no, I don't think it terribly far, but what happened was they reckoned the insurance company said, I think it was his boat that got destroyed in a storm, and the insurance company uh. said it was an act of God. So God should have been sued for that. Yes, it caused a big stushy with the church, though. It's a great movie. Absolutely. Now then, I believe Martin and Kareem's fighting to get through second. So oh, they'll be, they'll be they fighting want. to get through. But listen, I need to All know right. how you think the phone end's going. Scotty, I'm speechless. I, I've got nothing to say but praise because yesterday the phones never stopped for they, an hour. They never stopped them to eat. It was quite something, actually. Quite something to behold. The again the night. And I didn't Aye. tell you this, but the TikTok, sometimes we're joined by two or three thousand on the TikTok. Absolutely. Now, with all the media that's around, these are what I call very respectable figures. Well, there you are, Scotty. You're getting up there with the big guns now. But, yeah, but we need people subscribing, tapping the bell on YouTube. We need people following. We've got, uh, we've had over 800,000 have seen the TikTok lives, but we've only got 18,000 followers. Now, what does that say? Let's examine how they've made me feel. Uh -huh. Absolutely. Scotty, just before we go on, can I just say... We've got Jerry Nichols saying, oops, and D as well. D Gourley says, even and all, Susan says, hi, Martin. And uh, D Gourley says, ha -ha, hi, Jerry. Isn't that wonderful? I think it's fabulous. Hi, Jerry, Susan, Sue Ann. Sue Ann. I don't know who Sue Ann and is. And D says, and Martin. Isn't that Absolutely. wonderful? Absolutely, everybody at Ken's, man. Everybody at Ken's, yeah, you yeah. dumpty head. You're a top Absolutely. man, actually. Oh, listen. Right. Talking of yeah. which, what did we think of Matey Boy's efforts last night? Oh, I thought it was fantastic. Oh, it was brilliant, you know. Right, it's absolutely. Motorbikes rock. Go on, go on. It's a shame he didn't make in that tune that you hummed, because he normally hums a long way. I normally hums a long way. You could always take your shoes off and hum. Well, I think that's what he had to do because he <laughs> couldn't do it with his tongue. <laughs> Lovely talking to you. And dinky do. <laughs> dinky do. Dinky do. And we will catch up soon, I say to you. Great to heat. Numb to heat. Top man. <laughs> Wonderful stuff. Right to the telephones as soon as you possibly can. Never a dull moment, I say. Here we got here. Hello, you're live on Scotty's phone in. Hello? No? Well, maybe maybe they'll try again, I say. Uh, whose headdress is that? That's my headdress. Let's see. Who's this? Are you live with Scotty's phone in? Hello, oh, Scotty boy. It's Martin. Hello, Martin, son. How are you? How are you doing, my man? Yeah. Oh. La, la, la. We had Numpty Heat on there tonight. Yes, but I heard them saying something while we're fighting to get on second between me and Kareem. Yes, and you got on second. Yes, correct, bro. Fantastic. Okay, here's a, okay, Scotty boy, here's a question for you, mate. Yeah, how go on, mate. 
Who's going to make the number one on Christmas number one this this year? Oh, I don't know. Who do you think it might be? And the other thing is, what's your best Christmas song of all time? The, and that's your thing to the nation. The best, best Christmas song, song of all time. And what? Uh, I think it might be, um, we wish you a Merry Christmas. Nice. Um, or what about, uh, what about um, White Christmas? Yes, there's um, songs like... Um, Bing Crosby. Uh -huh. uh, um, there's songs like Merry Christmas, the One. There's um, Silent Night. There's I Believe in Father Christmas. Yes. There's, um, there's, there's um, Ding Dong Merry High. There's bands, um, there's different things like... One of um, my favourite carols is Once in Royal David's City. Oh, I love that. I just love watching carols on YouTube. What That's about, amazing. do you like carols from kings? Yes, I love, I love all those music. I love all Christmas music. It's nice. Lovely. Very, very calm. Yes. <laughs> what about Adesti Fidelis? Yes. That's I, like, I like that too. Oh, right? come all ye faithful. Oh, I love that. Do you um do you like um do you like um Heart the Herald Angels sing? Heart the Herald Angels sings a beauty. I think that used to be number forty six in the hymn book. Uh -huh. And I like um Old Town of Bethlehem. Oh, Little Town of Bethlehem. Which tune? Um. Do you like Da Ri Di 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 Li Uh huh. Yes. Uh huh. Yes. What about mm. da ra ra di 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 da ri di 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 di? <laughs> oh, nice old one, nice. That's oh, a nice one, isn't it? Yes, buddy. Um, another song. Um, let's see. Uh, Evening, Scotty. I hope you have a great day, mate. There's James Bacon on. Yes. Everybody's discussing the Glen Gary. And they're saying the connection's not good in TikTok. How's the TikTok connection? Good evening from Invocate Remembrance Day today, says DJ. So um, today's a Remembrance Day um, as well. From the, um, Remembrance the Day. Tunnels, and the what was that marking, Martin? Well, um, I was respecting all the folk who passed away and all the... Yes, yes, but why, why 11 o'clock on the 11th month? And um, New York City got um, the, the Twin Towers as well. Twin Towers as well. But the 11th hour of the 11th month, 1918, the armistice, uh -huh. as it was called. So mm -hmm. the surrender, the peace was signed uh, at 11 uh -huh. o'clock on the 11th day. Uh-huh. Isn't that lovely? Yes, it's really And that was the but end of the First World War in 1918, signed in a railway carriage. Uh-huh, yes. While I'm on as well speaking to you, um, Mrs. Mack from Take the High Road passed away. Gwyneth, yes. yes, and she was lovely. I can remember uh -huh. when I worked at STV, everyone used to say, Gwyneth's lovely. Oh, she's so, amazing. So Take bless her. She was a wonderful actress. I loved the character as well. I know, but I loved her playing and take the high road. All the shows are amazing. Yes, 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 wonderful stuff. I still watch them. You can get them on the uh, STV YouTube. player. And you, and, and, and you can get them on YouTube as well. Because yes. YouTube's got them on, oh, well. have they? And you can get a catch-up. Yes, a lot, I. <laughs> so so there you, we are. Lovely so to see you. you. Oh, by the way, I accepted you on Facebook. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Yes, and I accepted your good lady as well. Thank you. So that is our picture all over them both. So I think I you, think you look absolutely great, the pair of you. So anytime you want to meet up, anytime, let us know. Anytime you want to meet up, and like when things go back better, you can meet up for a wee pint or something. You, you're very kind. Well, of course, as you know, I don't take a wee pint because I, I don't drink alcohol. I know, but... But we can have some other refreshments. We could have uh, we could have a glass of Scottish water. Yes, that'd be nice, lovely. Oh, that's beautiful. I just had a sip there. You take care, Martin, and dinky do la. Thank you, do. Love you. Love, Love you, you lots, dinky do. There we are, alcohol free beer. Oh yes, I think I remember that. I don't think it was terribly 
much fun actually, but there we are. <laughs> Wonderful stuff. You have to be the most knowledgeable person I know. I could listen to your stories again and again. James Bacon, you are very, very kind. That's all I can say. Who is this? You're live in Scotty's phone, eh? Who's that? Hey, Scotty, how you doing? Hey, Glenn, are you dinky do, la? I am dinky do, yeah. Kirsty McCall, Scotty, and the Pogues. The Pogues, I was thinking about that one, you know. Yeah, classic, uh, big halfway. Yeah, I think, I think, yeah, these are the best, really, aren't they? The Wizard. Yeah, White Christmas, of course. Uh, uh, Bing Crosby and David Bowie. Yeah, uh, oh, yes. Boy. Yes, now you're talking. What about uh, Cliff, Mistletoe and Wine? Fantastic songs. What about Pinky and Perky, I Saw Mommy Kissing Santa Claus? Uh, Mullock and Tyre. Yeah, have you heard that one, Pinky and Perky? I have, yeah. Yeah, but, that's uh, an absolute cracker. I saw Mummy kissing Santa Claus. Mel and Kim. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, I think they'll, they'll be thinking, we've only got 14 days till December, Scotty, we'll only be thinking, is it 20, uh, 19 days, sorry? Well, no, are uh, we too easy? No, 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 it's not, is it? Oh, my goodness me, days, I think it is, actually. 20 days till December. Yeah, and then it'll be December. Oh, my goodness, yeah. Glenn. Oh, we're rushing on here, aren't we? And then, I think they forecast the White Christmas anyway, Scotty, aren't they? The, the what, now? They predicted a, it's going to be a snowy Christmas already. I wouldn't be surprised, yes. They're pretty clever with all these predictions, you know. I reckon the Met Office will be... I'm uh, very worried thinking something's going to happen. Are we losing you, love? Are you talking into your beard? What was your, your favourite weather forecaster, Scotty? Oh, I love my weather forecasters. I loved uh, Michael Fish. Yeah, definitely. And uh, Ian Child. McCaskill was a great one. Bill, Ch Bill Giles. Yeah, Bill Giles loved Bill. Yeah. Yes, fantastic. And so uh, Wincy Willis. Suzanne Lloyd. Yeah, Wincy Willis and Suzanne Lloyd. And there's some pretty good ones on at the moment as well. Definitely. I think it's more digital. It's more digitally advanced now, Scotty, isn't it? The weather well, this is it. I might, uh, I might do a bit myself. Yeah. We've got a great guy in Scotland called uh, Sean Batty, and he oh, yeah. does the weather on STV. Good presentation, then. Very, very, very good, yes. In fact, he's an all-round talent. He did a Hogmanay show. Yeah. You know? I mean, with all the forces and the, all the weather, all the snow and all the rain. Well, I like, I'll tell you what I like, Glenn. I like some of the lines on it. So you, you sort of look and you, you're talking a kind of, let's see if I can do you a weather voice. Yeah. Um, moving on to Friday, of course, and uh, quite heavy rain. The odd rumble or two of thunder. So keep the brolly handy. Do you like that? Do you remember this morning when he used to walk across the... Uh, oh, yeah, the guy used to jump across the floating map. Yeah. Yes, yes, I remember that as well. Yeah, the Albert Dock. In the, on uh, Richard and Jody's show, yeah. Yeah, Richard and Jody. I think that came from Granada and Liverpool. It did, yeah. Yeah, they're always looking for some sort of way to kind of tell the story. Do you know what I mean? I like, I do like, I quite like just the weather map. I used to do, in fact, I think you'll hear me do the weather on a TikTok video. Yeah. And we do it over a map, just a voiceover. Brilliant. So it goes like this, something like, I look at the weather for the weekend now. <laughs> you've got that, you've got that voice definitely. For... I look at the weather <laughs> for the weekend now. Try. I'll tell you what I was thinking today. I'd love to do maybe a week. Reading the news on the BBC, on BBC Radio. Yeah. And I'd like to do a week for um, ITV, reading the news to see if I've still got the television techniques. Yeah, brilliant, Scott. You know what I mean? Okay. Pop up. I might have to take the whisker off. I don't know. Are you growing that for Christmas Day, Scott? Well, I was wondering about that. I was wondering tonight if it's due for one of my, um, one of my thinnings, you know? You know, it's strange to think about it, though. It's a bit of sleep. Next thing you know, it's back in there. It's too, how many times you commit that? Oh, yeah. Oh, they come back quick. Have you got one, Glenn? It's, it comes on, you know, because I'm dark complexion, Scott. Uh. It, it's what now? You know, because I've got a dark complexion because I'm dark-haired and that. Uh. Right, right. So you, so you get the five o'clock shadow. 
I saw the air definitely. I think it makes us more distinguished as men than it's got. Oh, yes, it's, it's very good. But we've got what people call lockdown growth. Definitely, yeah. There's a nice one. J.D. Donnelly, John Kitley, the weatherman. There's another cracker. I Michael mean, Fish. I'm, Scotty, uh, <coughs> another thing, um, international this week, Scotty, for the World Cup. Oh, the World Cup, yeah. I don't, as you know, I'm not a great football man, you know. Wonder. Very Scott, interesting. You guys have got an important game against Moldova tomorrow. Moldova? Yeah. Right, so we'll have a look at that. And, of course, we've had a bit of news today that Kareem wanted to talk about last night. And poor Kareem, I must apologise, oh, yeah. but I didn't have all the facts, so I didn't want to not? get anything wrong. You don't want to say anything to waste it then until they come Well, down, you right? don't really. You see what I'm saying? I mean, it's fine. Mm. If you've got all the facts in front of you, that's fine. But I didn't have all the facts, but Kareem probably did. You wait for all these main correspondents to come out then. On, well, this is it. The pundit it. says they cry them. Yeah. The pundits. Glenna Benadashla. We, we've what? got Scotty, we've got Albania as well tomorrow. Albania, isn't it fantastic? You never Albania, used to hear of these countries, you know. In football. Then it's San Marino on Monday, Scotty. Yeah, you never used to hear of any I of mean, that, Glenn. Scotty, a lot of these teams just play just for fun, don't they? You know, these smaller nations. Yes. Yes. I hope you qualify I hope you qualify anyway, Scotty, so we can have some Old, old rivalries, England and Scotland. We can have a little Scotty. bit of banter, La. You take great care of you, and thank you, do. Thank you, Scotty. Nice one, La. There we are. That's our Glenn. He's popped off, so there we go. Fantastic. Now, hi, says Crumble. Hi, Crumble, thank you, do. Welcome, welcome. If you joined us on TikTok, there was a problem with the TikTok. Do you want me to stop and restart, I ask you? Shall I do that, guys? I'll stop and restart. But what you must do is then start scrolling like crazy so we can catch up again. Would that be the best plan? Let me know what's what. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hi, Scotty. It's Kareem. How are you? Ah, Kareem, how are you? I don't know if you heard the end of Glenn's call there, but I was just saying um, I was sorry to have to shush you last night on the football. <laughs> Because I knew you knew what you were talking about, but if I don't have all the facts, I don't like to get it wrong. If somebody said, you know, I mean, say, for instance, I mean, you wouldn't do this, but somebody said, such and such is happening, so and so is moving. Somebody said, oh, no, 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 that that's all changed. You shouldn't have said that. They're, they're, they're not. They're, they're, they're doing this or they're doing that. You see, so can you see where I was coming from? No, it was fine. Well, it's going to... I have to be very delicate uh, what I'm going to say next because there's a hidden meaning uh, to this. Uh -huh. uh, and I, I say this with great seriousness. Yes. Uh, and basically, the, and you'll pick this up straight away, Scotty, uh, and from a lot of people that I know that are very good sources, London Bridge is closed... Uh -huh. And there is a creased police presence at Bermoral. And I'm going to say no more on the matter. Right. Well, there we are. Excellent stuff. We shall see what is what. No more on the matter. Nothing more required. And we'll see yep. what's what. Yes. Um, on, on that, my second point is that today in work we were talking and I said, I'll ask Scott McClure because he'll know the answer to this. Yes. We live in Glasgow. But when we go outside of Glasgow, where does the word Ken come from? How did it originate? Oh, well, that's you go... more... Uh, well, it's kind of broad Scots, braid Scots, Karim. But it's more... Uh -huh. It's said a lot in the East Coast. So if right. you're on the phone, like Numpty Heed there, uh, uh -huh. you know, if I was telling Numpty Heed something... So say you were on the phone to um, one of your pals, on the phone uh -huh. to Scotty McClue. And then yes. I'm telling you something and you're on the phone and you're going, yeah, yeah. Oh, I know, I know, absolutely. No, 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 I, I know what you mean, Scotty. Uh, and the other thing, Kareem, oh, I, I, no, I know, you know, you're quite right. No, no, I know, yes. I know. So in the East Coast, it would just be Ken. So they Ken. So to Ken is to know. Right. Right. So, so you used to have a Scottish thing like Kareem. Ah, oh, he's all right because I used to Ken his father. Aye, right, okay. You see, I so Kent, a Kent, they use a past as well called Kent, 
I can't his feather as well, you know. So in other words, I know who they are. The Scots are terribly nosy people. And if you apply for a job in Scotland, everybody starts wanting to know who you are. You see? Right. So it's right. it's all that. So somebody says, we've got somebody called Karim is coming. Right. Karim, Karim, Karim. My, where do I know that name from? <laughs> what if that's the guy that phones Scotty McClure? <laughs> ah, now, wait a minute. Wait, let's see if we can look him up. So nowadays, you can look people up. Yeah. You yeah. see? And you say, oh, why such and such? And because they'll come up. On Facebook or something, you know, somebody will say, he's a mechanic at McWackle's garage. Mm -hmm. You see, that sort of thing. You say, ah, that's where he works. You know, that sort of idea. So you get all that kind of nonsense. Right. And okay. somebody motorbikes is going, Ken, what you mean? But uh, you, you, it's made fun of as well. But to Ken is to know something. Like uh, I was saying, I think... Um, the dog knew that your father had had a refreshment. Oh, I the dog kens. It kens, right. Aye, the dog knows. So it's, it's quite a nice one. And another one that you might like, so in Fife and in uh, Edinburgh, there's a lot of ken, ken, I ken, you know, ken. And so uh, you're talking to somebody and every so often they'll just put in ken. So you'll say, yeah, but she was a nice lady and, and, and the old mother was lovely as well, Ken. You know, because so what they're saying is, I remember the mother. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. Sure. And another sure. nice one is to to go Ben. Have you had to that ben? one? To go Ben? Uh-huh. No, I've never heard that. Before. Right. Well, what happens is you might call at my house and I might say to somebody, listen, take Kareem Ben. Right. Now, what that means is Ben the hoose through the house, probably to the sitting room. Ah, right, okay. You see? And then you had a room and an end for the animals in the old Scottish Highland Black House, hence the name Butt and Ben. Right. So the butt was just a wall where the animals were and the Ben was the room where the humans were, where they ate and slept and sat and socialised. So you had the beasts looking over this stall when you were sitting, there was no television, watching the peat fire burn, you know, and you had the butt and Ben. Not a terribly healthy way of living, which is why a lot of them got disease and died. Because you were living uh, with the animals, so there was quite a lot of animal dung round the floors and things, you know. Yeah. Well, and you cooked uh, on you cooked on the fire, and there wouldn't uh, be running water, so you weren't going to be washing your hands before you uh, prepared the potatoes, you know. Right. Goodness. So I've certainly got a few things to tell the staff about that. So the Ken. So Ken. Is Ken is to know. So when they're saying something to you, sit and nod and go. Ken, hi, Ken. Hi, Ken. And they'll Ken. go, are you from the East Coast, Karim? I thought you were a Glasgow man. Ken, Ken. no, eh, eh, Ken. So it's that. And then, right. do you know? So it moved into Cumberland and Northumberland. So the old song, do you know John Peel? Uh -huh. Yes, the huntsman. Right. Do you ken John Peel? Right. Yes. How do you think it's never really took off in Glasgow? Um, because I think Scotland is not divided north and south. It's divided east and west. In fact, the whole right. country is. So uh -huh. you'll see far more empathy with Aberdeen, Edinburgh, Newcastle, uh -huh. um, you know. The Dundonians. Yes, yes. <laughs> the Dundonians can, he, 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 he can na, na. So the yeah. Dundonians are big in Ken. Yeah. You yeah. know? So they might say, I'm starving, I'm a frappe, and they say, I can. No, no, what you mean, I'll maybe have one myself, you know. <laughs> so it's, it's also a great economy of language. It's very, very expressive, uh -huh. Uh -huh. you know. And, and you might also say, I was telling my, my sister about that, but she kens them all, you know. Aye. Oh, that's, Isn't that nice? I think it's nice. 
Yes, and there are these Scottish words, and also, uh, do not or don't in the East Coast is dinny. 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 Uh, so dinny. somebody might go up and give you a shove, and instead of say, eh, don't do that. It's not smart. Yeah. You know, you go, dinny. Dinny, yeah. yeah. Dinny, yeah. or you can or boot it. One thing that I've so that's saying when don't do that or you will know all about it. All about it. <laughs> when you've worked outside of Glasgow, yes. Scotty, I don't know if you've noticed, I've certainly, when I've worked outside of Glasgow and, and different uh, councils, I find when you're dealing with the people and especially like teenagers and that as well, they don't have that quick Glasgow banter or wit that you get here. No. I, no. I find that's just, it's unique, you just... Do not get that at Well, you'll maybe say to um, a young person, Oi, stop shouting at him. And they'll go, well, no one are. Yeah. You know, yeah. no wonder because the other person's been shouting at them. Yeah. That's now, there's yeah. motorbikes. Say, the dinny fash. Now, there's another one. So, dinny fash. Fash is to worry or get concerned or fuss. Ah, right, okay. So you'd say Dinny to fash. somebody, don't make a fuss. Dinny fash. Dinny fash. You say, come on, come on, we've got to go now. It's nearly two o'clock. Well, I can, <laughs> can, dinny fash, dinny fash. <laughs> you know. Can so you it, say your TikToker viewers won't have a clue what we're not, speaking about? Not a clue, <laughs> but, it, but it doesn't matter, you see. Uh, they're, Gaelic is separated east and west as well, says Fat ah. spoon pH. Right. So there okay. must be changes in the Geltach if you move to the east or the west. Right. And then okay. you've got the Doric in Aberdeen. Right. So how okay. are you doing? Is who's your do's? Who's your do's? Who's your do's? <laughs> you know, and you wouldn't have a crowd of folk. You'd have a good kern, like kernel, a, good, a heart kern. of people, a gathering. Either a good kind of folk in here, eh? <laughs> so you, you've got a gathering, and then you've got, and again, Aberdeen, big on Ken. Ken. Yeah. So there's there's that as well. Again, in, in Dundee, it's a Ken. I Ken. I Ken. I know. Yeah. So yeah. You, you've got that Doric Northeast. Lallans is Lowlands like Edinburgh. But Dinna Fash. That's a good one. And you see other lovely ones like um, dust is oos, oos. Oost, right? Oh, I was in that who's one day and, oh, they're oos. <laughs> you know, and you wouldn't give it a dust. You would give it a dicht. Right. A I give that a bit of a dicht in case anybody comes in. Look at the oos there. Ah, right, and then okay. you can have worse than that. You might beat the carpet and it's full of dust and you start to go, oh, stop that, I'm getting all the stewer. <laughs> you see, and people know exactly what that means. Means well. Didn't he start all that stewer coming into the house? I've just cleaned it. <laughs> oh, my flair, my flair, I cleaned that. You've got your, your bits on. I know none of these expressions. Do you think these expressions are dying with society? Uh, well, or? they will yeah. a bit because where they originated has uh -huh. died out, but they're fortunately, I would say, passed on by word of mouth from parent to child. So right. uh, you will find that if you're teaching in a school, very often the children have dual language. So they have a language, they'll say to you, they'll say, uh, sir, may, may I go to the office, right? Uh -huh. But then they'll shout their pal, come here, you wee so-and-so, I'm going to wallop you. <laughs> you see, it's all that sort of idea. So you've got the uh -huh. dual, but then if you're in the East Coast, they've got a triple language. Right. You know, and okay. they're not they're not dying. What we need to do is get rid of the swear words and and replace them with old Scots words. Words. Right. Yes, get get Scots fair, uh -huh. as an F A Y R E. Get fair. So you might come right. round my house at uh, you might come round my house. You'll come uh -huh. on Hogmanay, which uh -huh. would be old years nicht. Lich, old years lich. 
Algiers nicht in. Nicht. nicht. Aye. Nicht. Well, hey. fit to do, uh, Graham. Come up, Algiers nicht. About ten o'clock, and we'll hear drum and a blare, and then folk folk will start to arrive, and then uh, we'll get for the bells, and then yeah. we'll be into their day. New <laughs> Year's Day. A, a dram is a drink. A dram, a small drink, a a a, a measurement of whiskey. Uh -huh. But right. it's okay. it's quite loose, you know. You yeah. can you can have a different size. You could get a dram in a pub, or you could get a dram in someone's house that would just right. about knock you out. <laughs> right. okay. So there's several aspects of the Scots language, and if you uh -huh. go to Berwick on Tweed. Yes. And you said to somebody, as a linguist did many years ago, and you uh -huh. go to the English side and you say, excuse me, what's this little paper bag called? And they'll uh -huh. say, um, a bag. Uh -huh. You know, and then you go yeah. to the other side, you say, what's this little paper bag called? Just across the tweet and they'll go, a, a wee poke. <laughs> you know, and then you say, what what are these that go in the wee poke and they go sweets? You go across again to the Scottish side, sweeties. Aye, uh, a, a poke of sweeties. A, a, a wee poke of sweeties. I got, I got a wee poke of sweeties off my granny. Ah, right. Do you know that makes it years ago? I forgot her name. Can this, she was a very famous Scottish comedian. Oh, I've forgotten her name. Uh, who would that be? Elaine C. Smith. No, she'll be older. Dorothy oh, Paul? It might be Dorothy Paul. Did she have the blonde hair? Yes, fantastic lady. Yes, yes Dorothy Paul. That's She's a, been about for years, but always looks the same. Yes. She and always looks about 30. About a poke of chips. A po and I po always thought, what is a poke of chips? A poke of chips? Ah, you get a poke of chips. Or sometimes if you go down the West Coast, they might serve you a cone of chips. A cone of chips. Aye, so you've right. got a wee round cone. And then an ice cream in the West Coast, you see, a cone would be a pokey hat. Right. And because uh, right. Mr. Hokey Pokey, the ice cream man. And the, <laughs> the the wafer, because the ice cream goes into a metal slide, you'd put the uh, wafer in, put the ice cream in, and slide it out. It's known as a right. slider. A slider, right. Okay. Right, Kareem, what are you hearing for the ice cream shop, eh? Uh, uh, you want a pokey hat? Well, no, get us a slider. <laughs> oh, you see, so you have all these names. It's But it's a beautiful language. And people uh, that go around saying, oh, speak properly and stop all that, you know, it's, yeah. it's, it's not right. So I think we should have all these things. The biggest killer to the Scots dialect is mainstream yeah. English-speaking media. So Fat Spoon... Yeah. Scotty McClure might set up a new media company and we'll yeah. have the news in Doric. Ah, so instead right. of saying, good afternoon, everyone, it's a fit like Abdi. Did they not do that in a programme? Was it Tune the Fat where they used to do like a news broadcast, but it was like in Scottish line, but it was like... Well, Gregor Scots Fisher, the actor that used to play Reb C. Nisbet, he yes. did a wonderful Hebridean broadcast. Right. Hello from the islands here now. <laughs> it's great. Now you that see, one. that's different again. The very best English in the world is spoken in Inverness. Oh, right, okay. Because they pronounce absolutely everything, Kareem. Yes. Everything's yes. pronounced beautifully in Inverness. I, I was there this summer and I remember their, their accent very well. <laughs> now, here is somebody from Whitney. Hello again from Brian in Whitney in Oxfordshire. Oxen, he puts. Oxen. Right. Now, you see, not everybody would know that's Oxfordshire. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes, because if you've got a degree from Oxford, you could have an M.A. Oxon. Uh -huh. Yes. Right. So the old right. Latin okay. name for Oxford is Oxon. And uh -huh. if you were getting a degree from Cambridge University, you could have uh -huh. an M.A. Cantab. Uh -huh. And right. you would think okay. that's Canterbury, but it's Cambridge. Great. So the Bishop of Cambridge would sign Cantab. The Archbishop of Canterbury 
would sign Cantuar. 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 C-A-N-T-U-A-R. Cantuar. So right now you would get the Archbishop sign. It's Justin, isn't it, that's the Archbishop right now? So he would sign Justin Cantuar. Uh -huh. The Bishop of right. Durham would sign Dun Elm. So you'll see, you'll see with your colleagues if somebody's got a degree from Durham University, then Aye. it'll say uh, they've got an M.A. Dunelm. So what would that be up here? Because I've got... Well, Glasgow is Glasgow Ennis. Right. Okay. So you could have a, a B.A. Glasg. Gla right, okay. Or I an M.A. Glasg. I, right. I just thought it'd be like B.S. B.S.C. And then whatever after that, or no, it, no, you could be BSC brackets Glasg if you were using your official uh, title. Uh -huh. right. Yes. Okay. Now Brian from Whitney and Oxen says, "Can we speak? We can speak Oxfordshire speak. Most people wouldn't understand." Now Brian's talking about an old English accent that's sort of a bit like that. Uh -huh. I'm from Oxford, and that's uh -huh. the way I speak. And that sort of thing. And then also you can move a little bit further and get broad Berkshire. Uh-huh. Why well, don't I sound a bit right here in Berkshire? Say, what did you just uh, say there? Sorry, I missed you. Yeah. So not everybody from Berkshire gives it, oh, hello. <laughs> you see? Hey, do you not think it's amazing, Scott, that an island or four nations that are close together have such variety on their doorstep. Huge diversity, because think about it, Kareem. The first people in here, after all your Picts and your Scots and your uh, Angles and all that, were your Romans. So uh -huh. you've got an Italian continental influence right away. So most yeah. of our words are based on Latin. Right, okay. You right. see? And as I say, the word video which we use all the time, is just video, I see, from vid, vid, to see. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mensa, you know, just means the table in Latin, and um, the organization for intelligence quotient, IQ, Mensa, sit round the table. Together, doesn't it? Oh, it's fantastic. <laughs> All these wonderful expressions. Most of our expressions also are based on uh, maritime expressions. Uh -huh. So scraping uh -huh. the bottom of the barrel there, old boy, means you're getting yes. the very last of the fresh food out of the bottom of the barrel. Yeah, yeah. Well, goodness. It's fantastic. It's, it's, Julie, it's interesting. And I, I like what you said, Scotty, about... We should be going over the, the old Scottish works again. Maybe yes. that's something I should bring up and work, yes. you know, to raise that because it's so important not to lose that. But no, it is important not to lose it. I don't think we will, but you see, a lot of Glasgow speak is uh -huh. based either on Highland language or on Irish language. Right, okay. And you see, right. so many people at the famine in Ireland in 1841, they flocked uh -huh. all over the world. I mean, I, I once, a student, handed me an essay that said, in 1841, people took flights to America. Right. And I yeah. thought, flights to America in 1841? I don't think yeah. so. And what they were quoting was the people took flight. So they flew uh -huh. from where they were. They got on boats and came uh -huh. across, well, went to Canada, America, anywhere. Uh, but yeah. a lot of them came to Glasgow. Yeah. And the reason yeah. things like Paddy's Market started was they had nothing except the shirt on their back. And quite yeah. often they would sell their shirt to feed the children. Yeah. So that's where you get the expression, he'd give you the shirt off his back. Yeah. Yeah. And that Paddy's Market was up in the town, where was it, near Trongate? Yes, all round there, because that's your, look at your old names, the Tron Gate, the salt uh -huh. market, where you would uh -huh. get salt for the fish. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, and what else have you got? The Gallow Gate, where they would take people to hang them, facing the yeah. monument at Glasgow Green. Yeah. The clock there is where, where they used to, uh, was it hang or prisoners, etc. But yes. I got told that never used to be there. They moved that years later, like brick from brick. What, the Tron Gate? 
the, 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 the Tron. Well, you've Excellent. got the Tron, and then you've also got the, um, oh, that's terrible, the big tall uh -huh. one just at the bottom there, the tall booth, <laughs> the tall booth, the big yeah. tall one, listen to me. You know? Yep. Well, and people changed. used to yeah. gather at the tall booth for New Year. And when STV opened in 1957, they would go and film the Hogmanay at the tall booth. Oh, right. Yes? Where your hosts were people like Larry Marshall and uh, from the One O'Clock Gang and um, Jack House, the journalist who wrote wonderful books on Glasgow. If you ever get a chance to read a book about Glasgow by Jack House, then uh, try, try and find that one. Right, okay. Jack House. Um, Jack's long gone now, but you used to see him about. He was an absolute character. Right, okay. And you see, the other thing, Kareem, is you knew... All the journalists were famous because newspapers were big business. And if you wrote for one of the big newspapers, you used to buy that paper for the writer. So you would buy the Herald because Hugh Cochran was writing for it. You would buy the Citizen because George Ritchie had written a column, you know? Yeah, yeah. You want to know what they're saying? Yeah, yeah you want to say, oh, brilliant, look at this. Always buy it, always buy that one. Jack McLean, another great journalist. People bought for James Meek. They were all right. fabulous journalists. Murray Ritchie. All right. Who's you, the author again? John House, did you say? Sorry. Jack, Jack House. Jack so House, Jack yeah, House yeah. and you'll get books on Glasgow. Um, and exactly. and the stories are, are just fabulous. Yeah, yeah, excellent. I'll have a look at a certain website uh, that sells lots of books. You know, so, I mean, Kareem, never never a dull moment. I say, we'd better go or we'll be getting the sack, you and I. Yes, but listen, thank you for taking my call tonight and thank you do. A and I'll privilege. Thank you do, Kareem. <laughs> All the very best, la. Night, Bye -bye. night. There we are. That's our Kareem. What an amazing guy. Fantastic. Now, uh, we've got everybody on here. Hi, everybody. Good evening to you. Scotty McClue says, Angela. D. Gourley, I'm good. I was a bit under the weather. Back to normal. Thanks, Susan. There we are. Fairy tale in New York, says Phil. Uh, good to hear, Susan. Hi, Jimmy. Hi, Susan. Just heading back. Hi, Prof. You're live on Scottish phone in. Who's that? Hi, Scotty. How are you doing? Hey, Glenn. Did you do, la? Scotty, you know what you're Glenn Gary at? What does the uh, silver badge symbolize? Well, that's my own clan badge. Oh, yeah. Yes, and it's a man of laws. Brilliant. Yes, and what the hand of what? justice is what you're seeing. What about the red and white checkered? The red and white day? checkered is to do with the thin red line in battle. Oh, brilliant. Yes, so these were worn by the Argyles and by the Black Watch. And uh, yes. I'm thinking who else wore the Glengarry? Uh, the stacks of the Scottish regiments actually wore Glengarrys. How many different symbols have you got then under Glengarry then? Is but they're they, not all checkered. Well, you'd have a different badge. So that yeah. badge would have been Argyll and Sutherland Highlanders. So there's a lot in history then, obviously. Oh, yeah. huge history. Or you could have another. You could have the Camerons, the Queen's own Cameron Highlanders, but you wouldn't have had the red and white check. Yeah. You see, you wouldn't have had that. You could have the, because um, my father was a Cameron, you could have the oh, Sea yeah. Force, the Gordon Highlanders, the King's Own Scottish Borderers, the Royal Scots from Edinburgh. And it's there was a lot of either. rivalry, the Argyles from Stirling in the West Coast. Uh, you had uh, other regiments like the Scottish Horse. My grandfather was in. The Black oh, Watch, yeah. which were introduced as Highland policemen, after Culloden. Nice one. So it's it's very interesting, the whole lot. It, it goes back generally, it goes back a long way. Oh, long, oh, long, yeah. long, long, long way. Well, you see, think about the name. Argyle and Sutherland Highlanders. So they were a mixture of a regiment from Argyle and yeah. then a, rich, a regiment from the 93rd from Sutherland. Nice one. Which is a way up in the north uh, northeast. Do you like a lot of uh, uh, like a lot of people asking about history and that, Scotty? Oh, I like people yeah. asking about anything, Glenn, as you probably I gathered. I mean, I Kareem and I were bantering away about language there, you know. 
you know, to be inquisitive on different cultures and know different... Everything. Words, I, I words, love, you know? I'm soaking up knowledge all the time, soaking up knowledge from you. Yeah. Well, I'll be looking at the terms, you know, on my, um, or kind of the new Jimmy lad and all that. Is that some sort of derogatory thing from the Well, Americans no, it's like? people say it because they don't quite get it, so they think that Scotland, yeah. like, like I had to pull Alex Belfield up for calling Scotland Nicky Nacky New Land. Oh, yeah. And he's an Englishman, you see. Yeah, have you had one or two chats on one or two confrontations? Well, I had to phone him up and tell him straight, and he was effing and jeffing at me. But I don't care. I said, never mind all that. You need to listen. Shut your, shut your ears. Uh, shut your mouth and open your ears. That's right. Open your ears up, big style lad. Yeah. Yes. You know, you, you don't Is talk about countries like that. Is it good banter then from both sides? Though? Well, I, you, I think you could probably hear the call. A decent bit of banter. I yeah. think I think the call's up on either TikTok or YouTube. I, I think banter's good as long as it's kept. Yes, you see, the, the, yeah. where yeah. where people from England struggle is to say the C H in lock. Yeah. So they say lock. So if I said to you, can you say Loch Lomond? Loch Lomond. Loch, Loch Lomond. So you'd say L-O-C-K, it sounds like. Yeah, but I know how it's, it's spelled anyway. Of course, it's it's of course you do. Of course you do. But you see, yeah. the other thing is, London people aren't particularly knowledgeable in general about the rest of the country. And the main reason for are. that is because they don't really need to go outside London. Precise. They've got everything in front of. They've got everything in front of. Them. Everything's there. Like everything's just laid down for a minute. Sorted out for them. There's Professor Numpty Head. I, I think it's it's the out of the comfort zone. Though. I think it's they appreciate the all of the nation a lot better. Well, I think you've got to take people out the comfort zone to know what something's it's, about. It's like you were just saying to Kareem though about we've got four nations within the United Kingdom. Yes. Well, we need to start acknowledging that. And our politicians need to stop saying, on behalf of this country, it's yeah. on behalf of our countries. We're not united in a, in a no. nation now, are we? No, we're I not united, and we never have been, because um, Parliament, Westminster, uh, is not inclusive of all the countries. Yeah, there's a big barrier in there. You know, and, and, you know, they need to... I watched um, the Scottish gentleman being mocked by a, a well-known Tory the other day, being mocked about the Battle of Flodden. Yeah. Now, you, you need to stop mocking other countries. It's not funny yeah, and it's we unacceptable. Like, because I'm that gentleman like, could have said, now today is the anniversary of the Battle of Stirling Bridge which I think the honourable gentleman will agree it didn't go so well for his mob. I remember the photo, what you were, was it with Prince Charles, Scotty, when you went to uh, dinner or something, yeah? Yes. Brilliant photo. You've seen that one. You'll see it on the Scotty McCree oh, website under footies. Fantastic, yeah. It's all there. Is it? Did he have a good chinwag with you then? And that, well, that's we're, we're not going, you don't sort of say these things, you know. Um, yeah. What I was going to tell you, respect all the armed forces, says Tony. Um, my favourite hymn is Away in a Manger, says Numpty Heat. And uh, Angela says Once in Royal David City. What's your favourite Christmas hymn? Off the top of my head, it's Away in a Manger, Sky. It's a cracker, isn't it? Yeah. I'll tell you a beauty I had uh, played in Sheffield outside a well known superstore. And mm -hmm. uh, Brass Band, Brass Band were there. And it was yeah. Christians Awake, Salute the Happy Mon. Lovely. And the band oh. actually made a bit of a pig's ear of it at first, and the conductor said, Right, we're not doing that because you don't do you don't know notes. God rest thee, gen merry gentlemen, Scott. Yeah, God so rest thee, yes. Yes, God rest Fantastic thee, merry show. gentlemen. Brilliant, so brilliant, um. Yes, absolutely. Lovely, lovely stuff, isn't I it? I mean, you can revamp all these hymns and that, you know, like they put songs to things and melodies and things. But you, you well, they're very well-known songs. I mean, another I mean, great uh, 
great one is Clementine, but yeah, it's actually uh, Cum Ronda, isn't it? You know, yeah, so the great cool. Welsh Welsh hymn Cum Bread Ronda. Of Bread of the what's that, dear boy? Bread of heaven. Bread of heaven. Yes, yeah. I will ever it's, give to thee. I mean, you've got a certain food outlet, a certain retail outlet. What does Christmas hymns on ITV? Aren't you? Christmas tunes, you know, for the adverts. Well, my old boss. You know the one. Don't I know there? exactly the one. Yeah. My old boss used to get a laugh because he worked uh, out in Africa mm -hmm. and they had a pub called the Crystal Fountain and he couldn't yeah. understand why the choristers all smiled when they were singing, Open now the Crystal Fountain, whence the healing stream doth flow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, now I'll hear the angels sing and all that, yeah. Hark, the herald oh, angels sing. Angels sing, yes. I yes. used to wonder, there was a wonderful little car called the Triumph Herald when I was little. Okay, yeah. And I used to wonder what the Triumph Herald had to do with Christmas. Do you remember that advert on ITV when uh, they stopped fighting amongst each other and the old... Oh, that was beautiful the, when they had the... Yeah, the, the, the oh. Yes. They mm. had the piece Christmas 1914, that, wasn't that, it? That's going to have been the best one out of the lot. Oh, that was beautiful, that. that is. Fantastic one. Yeah, I mean, fanta and that the features in that the was... movie War Horse. Yeah, it does, yeah. Yeah, you've seen War Horse, haven't you? I have, yes, Scotty. Brilliant film. Jordan says you're a natural with the weather, Scotty. Love how you can slip into any I, I accent just, or tone of we voice. Can't lose, we can't lose tradition, can we? can't lose culture and tradition, Scotty, can we, to be honest? Well, we mustn't. We that's can. why we have the phone in, Glenn. That's, that's who we are, isn't it? That's what makes us who we are. That's who we are, absolutely. Nice one, Scotty. But I think it's only... Keep your natural... Uh, well, what's the word? Just keep your natural thoughts and everything together, isn't it, really? And it's good stuff. Just keep, just keep true to yourself, really, and just live it as it is. Professor Numpty Heed's asking, where does Rasheen in River City come from? I, mean, I love her I, accent. I think it may be Aberdeen. I mean, Scotty, you know, pronunciation, when you're writing things down, the way we say things, you don't write words down like how you say them, do you? No. No, nothing. Well, the English Imagine. language, when I'm teaching international students, I always say to them, don't think English is any better than your beautiful language. It's not. Yeah. It's just different. So you have words like two, 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 and there, there, there. Imagine, I've just been looking on, on the internet how the way things are said, and it's like, wow, it's just complete holy go, can it? What about this one? Uh, there's Alice from the north of England. Scotty, you should write a book, she says. Isn't that lovely? More well, people speak Punjabi in Scotland than speak Gaelic. Oh, do they? Yes, apparently, according to Danny. William. Mind you, Danny doesn't always give us the facts. He was thinking Scotland couldn't go alone. That, like I said, when, you, when you're when weighing out an opinion, though, you've got to look at it from, I've said it before to you, You've got to look at it from both perspectives, aren't you, definitely? You well, then say. it's not actually an opinion. It becomes a fact because you're starting definitely, to come out yeah. with the truth. What it's about this? There's Professor Numpty Heat. I used to buy The Sun because Scotty McClue used to write for them. Brilliant. There you are now. It's uh, all idiots will be on some other Scotty, won't they, probably? Oh, probably Friday night. Nine o'clock tomorrow, by the way. Nine yeah. Yeah, Good night, Scotty and Dee, Suzanne and Jerry and Martin. Sleep Nine. well and sweet dreams, says Susan. Phil Doherty, you, Dinky Dude, lovely Dee Gourley. Night, night, you, Susan. She's great. You, you won't, you won't load it straight so pretty much within an hour, are you, Scotty, as soon as you... Yeah, it should be. You should be able to get this within the hour, absolutely. Sometimes you should be able to get it within minutes. We're That's very fast it. here, you know, with a yeah. turnaround. You, you just need to get them subscribers up, don't you? We need okay. them subscribers up. They should be at 3,000 by now. Definitely, yeah. I don't understand. How many have we got, Glenn? Uh, I'm not. I actually got screen on that. Right, right. right. We'll find out how many subscribers we've got on YouTube. Got Everybody needs to be subscribed. Everybody on YouTube should subscribe. So you're looking at 3,000 then? Uh, well, I'd love to have 3,000, so we need to get that up. I think it's something like another 30. You should get that, shouldn't you? Fantastic you chat, says Stephen. I'll phone soon, Scotty. Pablo from Sunny Salford. 
When it rains, it pours. If you don't get that many, come on, you've got 24 people watching. <laughs> well, there's, more than, there's more than that, though, isn't there? Right. I'm, I can't hear a word you're saying, love. I'm losing you. Fantastic. That's our Glenn. I couldn't hear him. I don't know if he was talking off mic. Silent Night says Pricey Pranks. Heart the Herald Angels sing. Sing Baker Street, Scotty says. As dazzed. There we are. You're live in Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Yeah, Scotty. I was just checking figures, Scotty. There's more than 24 subscribers in there. It, oh, is that, is that what we've got to go? Apparently 2.97k. 2.97k. 2.97. Well, that needs to be... 3.00 by the end of tonight. Well, so everybody to listening, get to the Scotty McClure YouTube channel, subscribe and tap the bell. Everybody who's watching it should be subscribing to it, shouldn't they? Oh, definitely. 100%. Yeah, or we shouldn't have them on at all. No chance. Hey, Dick. Yeah, what, what are they doing? I think they're just flicking through and just thinking, we'll just watch it. I'd never oh. use the definition it gave for obfuscate was confusing. <laughs> Somebody's put, I love Glenn's voice. Accent is quite carving. Thank you. Hey, there you go, Glenn. It sounds like you're in business, la. I need to dash. Nice Dinky do. Dinky do, Scotty. Have a good day anyway. God bless the lovely loads. And you. Love you, Dad. Absolutely. Oh. Call time over. So there we are. Fantastic. Now, we've got Elise says, I remember the days when you had 250,000 callers stroke listeners a week. Not a week, Elise. Every half hour. Yes. Yes. Quarter of a million per half hour. Quick call here. Who have we got here? Hello. Hello. There we are. Hello, you're live on Scottish phone in. Who's that? Hello, Scotland, man. It's Martin. Martin, dinky, do I say? We're going to have to say ta-ta to the TikTokers. There Great. we are. Wonderful. 